Seattle City Council disrupted as asylum seekers and their supporters once again pleaded for support. Council President Sarah Nelson saying there are limited resources here. I don't really want to participate in in the, a conversation that should be had with uh, county leaders, state leaders, federal leaders. Council ultimately took a break from the meeting in the middle of chants from protesters yelling on behalf of the refugees. At one point, Council Member Kathy Moore requested that SPD take action. The request that we have police response. Uh, our physical safety is being threatened by the actions of the demonstrators outside banging on the windows. Eventually, arrests were made. It's the second time in two months that the group from Latin America has called upon Seattle leaders to fund their temporary housing. Refugees have been living in different area hotels. Most recently, this one in Kent. That stay was funded by Seattle taxpayers. Ennis is from Venezuela, said she knows this protest wasn't the most correct thing to do, but they've got kids. They feel pressured to act for them. And The dynamics at play here echo a conflict narrative entwined with immigration policy. The intrusion of asylum seekers and their allies into the Seattle City Council meeting can be perceived as a push for increased resources and backing from local authorities. Concerns loom among the public regarding the protesters' plea for free housing framed as an added strain on taxpayers and limited resources. City council members, notably council member Sarah Nelson, responding to the discourse that beckons high-ranking government involvement is acknowledged as an acknowledgement of the issue's intricacy to the public and the constraints of local resources. The jeopardy to physical safety and subsequent pleas for police intervention following arrests stem from heightened tensions around asylum seekers' housing predicament. The public resonates with council members grappling with confusion in formal proceedings, presenting this scenario as emblematic of widespread frustration with immigration policy.